what's up family i'm back with another one and today we're going to be making stuffed bell peppers you guys so let's get into these ingredients okay you guys so i'm using ground turkey for my family but you guys can use ground beef if you guys like even beyond beef which is plant-based we can do some chicken some steak and even if you're feeling fancy get you some shrimp honey it's whatever you want to stuff these peppers with also using cauliflower rice you guys but once again y'all can use white rice y'all can use jasmine rice brown rice rice aronis whatever kind of rice y'all want fam add some kobe jack cheese to mine and mozzarella cheese family okay i'm using four simple seasonings garlic powder black pepper seasoning salt and beef cubes Okay, so these are my pretty peppers you guys that i picked up at my local grocery store but that one a little denny but i'm gonna still use it anyway Okay, y'all, let's get into my season pie. We finna dump our ground turkey in, and y'all, production be all fam. But work with your girl. I promise I'm gonna get it together. And yes, my hands are clean. You guys always wash your hands before you start cooking. Okay, so I'm finna get ready to cut these bell peppers up and my onions because it's going inside of my ground turkey, you guys. And I know I'm stuffing bell peppers with bell peppers, but y'all, bear with me because it's gonna be bomb. Okay, family, y'all know your girl be chopping it up. And I'm just speeding it up for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and chop in the orange one and the green one. And make sure y'all wash y'all peppers off before y'all cook them. And fun tip, like I told y'all last video, wash them off in white vinegar. But let's go. We getting ready to put in my seasoning so we're gonna go ahead with garlic powder family and y'all can never over season y'all food with garlic powder so put as much as you like y'all already know i do not measure i just do it until my spirit say stop okay i forgot to record me putting the first part of lowry seasoning salt but i'm gonna go ahead with my black pepper and don't worry fam i'm gonna go over it again two more times so a total of three times with the same seasonings so let's go ahead and put this Larry in. And like I said, don't be generous on this, y'all, because we don't want you to have high blood pressure like I told y'all last time. And so I'm just cutting up my jalapenos, you guys. And this is very optional. If you do not like hot stuff, I do not recommend you putting jalapenos in it. But I love it, so I'm just going ahead and chop it up in here. Also chopping some sweet yellow onion into it, y'all. Onion make everything taste good. So I'm just kind of dicing it on in for you guys. And we're going to get ready to dump it into our meat, you guys. Oh, I know I'm being extra. I'm going to just go ahead and dump in some minced onion. Even though I'm about to come over here and dump this onion in, baby. I'm just being extra. But I love my food to taste season. So why not? Let's go. And we also going to go back in with the garlic powder. Like I told y'all. Y'all can't never have too much garlic powder. Like, if y'all feel like y'all food is under season, add some garlic powder and black pepper, baby. But come on, let's go ahead and dump in my veggies. Mmm, look at them. Y'all, I wish y'all could smell this. It smells so amazing. But, yeah, I'm trying to work with one hand. So, y'all bear with me because I'm going to get a tripod, fam. I promise. But, yeah, I'm going to try to mix all this together and then let it cook. Y'all, my stove gets so hot, so... Y'all, I cook my meat for about 20 minutes, 20 to 25. So, yeah, everybody's stove different. Okay, you guys, so we're going to just jump on over here, and I'm showing you how we prepare our bell peppers. And I'm just poke four little holes at the bottom of it, and then I'm going to cut the top off, you guys. And fun fact, y'all can use these bell peppers because who got money to waste? These is not cheap. So y'all cut them on up and stick them in the freezer so that way y'all can use them for another dish. But I'm going to take my spoon and go around and clean all the brain out of this because we don't want seeds in our stuffed bell peppers and if you feel like you didn't do a good job with your spoon you can run these babies under some water and that way it'll be thoroughly cleaned okay i'm just showing y'all one more time poke holes at the bottom and make sure they're cleaned out really good and i'm just gonna go ahead and cut open another one y'all this one is kind of beat up but i'm still using it anyway because they did not have that many green bell peppers family so I'm just taking everything out. And this one low-key really broke, but I'm going to still use it. I guess I can cut it in half and fill it. So I'm just showing you guys again. Cut the top off, and then we're going to poke holes at the bottom and clean it out. And like I said, if y'all need to wash them out to wash the seeds out, if your spoon not doing the job for you, feel free to do that. But I'll be back when I'm done cutting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so they all ready, and I got them in the pan, getting ready to come over here and steam them for you guys. And you want to drop them in here, and I'm just going to drop a couple at a time. And you want to let them sit for about three to four minutes, so that way they can kind of get soft and firm for you guys. Please do not skip this step because your stuffed bell peppers will be hard as a rock if you do. Trust me, I messed up before, so I don't want y'all to mess up. Just let them sit, y'all. Be patient, okay? So while I'm letting these steam, we're going to come over here and drop these beef bouillons, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> inside the ground turkey. And I'm going to put four in, but if you want, you can add more. It just gives the meat a beefy flavor, so it make you think you're eating ground beef, which it is so bomb, y'all. So trust me, do not skip this step. Now, guess what? That sound really be having me feeling like I'm doing something. But I really am whipping it up for you guys with this ground turkey. But y'all let it go. I also like to just chop my meat up. So I'm just kind of breaking it down, you guys. I kind of like it in smaller chunks, not just like too big. So that way I can taste it in every little bite. Okay, so we back over here checking on our bell pepper, you guys. And they look like they done to me. So we just going to take them on at the pot and let them cool on off, you guys. Y'all, that water be hot for real, for real. Don't burn yourself, okay? I don't want to um, be responsible, okay? So please cook responsibly. Y'all, look how they look. They so pretty, fam. Okay, y'all, and I'm going to let the last few boil for four more minutes, you guys. And now we're going to come over here. And yes, I had to get my good pot out for y'all, baby. These are my royal turquoise pretty tiffany blue i don't know what color but okay so we got the cauliflower rice and i just heated it up in the microwave and i squeezed all the excess water off of them because cauliflower can be very moist and i do not like it moist i like it kind of dry so it give me the illusion of being really rice and i like to just mix it all together you guys because we're going to get ready to come over here and dump our tomato sauces in okay so i'm gonna go ahead and dump in my hunts diced tomatoes you guys and I think I have one can of those. So we're just going to go ahead and dump it in. Mm, it gives it a pretty color. And then I'm going to go in behind it with some tomato sauce that I had in the pantry, you guys. Y'all can use any kind of tomato sauce that y'all have. And we're just going to mix it thoroughly in so that way we can coat everything very nicely. So, yes, look how it's looking. Mm. Y'all, I can just eat that feeling by itself, to be honest. And so I'm going in and dump in some more tomato sauce. That's what I did. I used a total of four cans of tomato sauce. You do not want your paste to be dry. You want it to be moist and good. So let's keep on dumping. And yes, if y'all do see it, I'm using different kind of tomato sauces. I use what I have on hand. It don't matter, you guys. It all tastes the same. So yeah, let's mix it all together. Okay, y'all, this is an important step. Put some sugar in it. Y'all do not forget, I even put sugar in my spaghetti. I don't care what nobody say. Sugar goes in tomato sauce. It goes into spaghetti. So just mix it on together and come on. Just follow the rules, fam. Follow the rules. I promise I won't lead y'all wrong. So while we stirring this and mixing everything in, make sure you have your heat on low, where your stove on low, so that way it can still be warm while you're mixing it all together. Even though, once we fill the bell peppers, you guys, we're going to stick them in the oven. So, oh, I'm showing you guys everything I have. My filling, my mozzarella cheese. And let's stuff this baby, y'all. Put some cheese on it. I'm putting some Kobe Jack, y'all. Y'all can use whatever cheese y'all like. Push it on down. And we're going to fill it again. Try to fill them like two to three times. If you have big um, bell peppers, it works better. But... Mine's was fairly decent, so I guess I can't complain. And put some mozzarella on it. Yes, put as much as you like because what? That's your business. Nobody can't tell you what to do. And I'm feeling it one more time. So that was a total of three times, you guys. And I'm going to put some more cheese on it. Cheese make it taste so bomb. So I'm just trying to sit them in there pretty. I'm going to top them all with cheese again. So let's fill some more. Let's go. <laughs> Put them in the pan right now 
and I'm going to rearrange them for you guys, but I'm putting some parsley, and I added some tomato paste at the bottom and some leftover filling. We're getting ready to set our oven to 350 and place them in for 25 minutes, you guys. And they out the oven, family. Look how they look. They're so pretty. Y'all see that mozzarella and that Kobe Jackson on top of these babies? Mmm. Y'all want some? Y'all can come grab y'all plate. Y'all know y'all always welcome to come eat at your favorite family member house. Okay, family, come grab y'all fork because y'all plate is ready. It is ready to eat. It looks so delicious. I topped your plate off with some green beans, family. Y'all know y'all need y'all green vegetables, even though we're eating a green bell pepper, but y'all, get into it. Y'all are more than welcome, but if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when your favorite family member come through. I love y'all. Have a blessed day.